Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's Saber Wolf 94. This is gonna be game one with the Lycanroc GX for the Sun and the Moon format. Let's see how are we going to destroy uh, this time, this time around with this deck. So I get to play first with the coin flip. Hallelujah. Uh, I always usually use, lose it, especially with this coin. And uh, we are going to open up with Tapu Lele GX. I can't fucking tell you how many times I open up with Tapu Lele GX. Uh, with, in all my decks, basically. Every single deck. So, opening with that, that's not so good, but, you know, at least I have a few decent cards. We have Nest Ball, we have Fighting Energies, and I've got the Cynthia. So, first things first, let's get a Rock Grub. Since I open up with Tapu Lele, GX, might as well, uh, take advantage of, uh, our wall there, I guess, and, uh, power up the Rock Grub. So, Cynthia... Not gonna be the greatest one, but you know we got a few good things. Another Rock Ruff and Brooklet Heal. I'll be able to fetch even more fighting Pokemon here. So let's see, what should we get? Should I get the Deancey or um, Buzzwool or another Lycan Rock? So let's get the Deancey. Get that early there. I do have two Rock Ruffs. We're good with the attackers. And my opponent also opened up with Tapu Lele. And let's see what he does. Uh, he is playing, you guys would know from the title, this little, well, big, not little, uh, wishy-washy uh, GX deck uh, with this big guy. They have a terrible name, but, you know, this, this deck has been seeing a little bit of play. I did go up against it a couple of times. Uh, depending on the deck you're using, it can't be annoying. You can't really get over it. But with Lycanroc GX, we're going to be having a field day with it. If that's how the phrase goes, since I can easily pull with Lycanroc GX and kill the little guys or just do some other stuff. But the idea of this deck is you rely on Wishy Washy GX. The big guy has already a lot of HP. You play down the new small dude from Dragon Majesty, and he's going to do a lot more damage and get a lot of extra HP, becoming basically uh, unstoppable, like a giant juggernaut with 290 HP or even more and you know you do damage you do damage and then they max potion they ace Arola, and they can easily retaliate back uh, if they have all of the uh, small wishy-washies down there his one energy attack does good damage like 80 100 damage so uh, that's that's pretty good especially when you attach a choice band so let's see, what are we going to do here? I'm going to attach the DC on my dude, and let's attach the Poison Barb too. Just so that I can, you know, thin my hand to draw shit with my Cynthia. Fortunately, we don't see uh, anything. Uh, we don't see anything with Energy Lotto either. I really wanted to get a, a Lycanroc GX. So... The deck, though, is pretty linear. It's easy to play around if you if you have the right cards, the right deck, like in my case. You know, it's pretty straightforward. If you just get one-hit knockouts on the dude or just get rid of the small fishes, then their max potions become dead, their ace of rollers become dead. So my opponent is going to attach a choice band and a DC, so start putting up the pressure on Tapu Lele GX and use Judge uh, fucking up my hand. But we did see our DCs and Lycanroc GX there. So, that's pretty nice. I can actually retaliate back or even just target one of the uh, small dudes there, the fishes. So yeah, it's 290 HP. That's the max amount it can have. Hmm, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. So, I do have a few options here. I can attack the... Uh, Tapu Lele GX It's going to do solid damage with the DC uh, Since it already has a DC There uh, Let's grab a fighting Pokemon though Rock Ruff uh, It's really going to be the star here uh, four, 4 Rock Ruff lying down Because I'm going to uh, Take full advantage of Lycanroc GX So you know it's pretty easy So let's Let's switch instead And since I do have the switch uh, you know what, I, I could have used Tapu Lele GX, but let's go the completely offensive route there. I doubt he can really do much on Lycanroc GX uh, with this big fish here. Uh, this deck really aims to stall you out, uh, slowly attack you, and 
you know, build up their own energy with the aqua patches, and then they can use their big attack. But if I start getting rid of the little fishes there, then it really can't do shit. So we get our knockout there on one of the fishes. He's gonna play down another wishy washy jigs, the big boy. So this way I know that okay, you're 270. That's even better for me. Because we can actually get a one-hit knockout. If I use Dangerous Rogue GX, I believe I would do 270 exactly. So it's just right uh, for me to get the KO. So maybe he wasn't paying attention, but that's what the maths is. So attached another water energy on the big boy there. But he's going to get knocked out. So uh, I, I could have used the GX attack, but uh, we're going to keep removing the little fishes there. Uh, I'm not sure if I noticed myself I can get a knockout. I believe that's what the maths are. Is It would have been 270. But anyway, let's get rid of the small dudes. And he really can't do much. Like even, even putting a DC on this dude, he needs five fucking water energies to use his attacks. So yeah, pretty rough. So yeah, I'm going to get the maximum value here. Knock him out with three energies next turn. So he's going to use Judge again, but it doesn't really matter. It's actually going to give me cards this time, but I suppose he had to do it. Okay, and we see the Enhanced Hammer. Going to be able to get rid of your DCE as well. Very, very good. So with another Lycanroc GX, you know, it's it's pretty... Uh, I'm fucking him up big time. Uh, enhanced Hammer. Uh, we're going to get rid of the DCE. And I, I honestly, I'm just slaughtering him. Uh, he's got 250 HP now, so uh, we could still get the knockout. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the maths is. It's 50 times the bench Pokemon. So, yeah, it'd be 250 before 270. Anyway, let's attach a Fighting Energy. And I can always use the GX attack, whatever the hell I wanted anyway. Uh, choice Band. And I guess we're going to do it now. Get the KO now. Dangerous Rogue. And you're dead. You are already dead. Okay. Crushing Hammer and the Boswell. I can use the Crushing Hammer if he attaches an energy. Uh, he's going to be able to finally finish off this Lycanroc GX, but <laughs> the dude got me four prizes. So, you know, as you can see, I'm slaughtering this deck. Uh, I did enjoy it, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Lux Chomp at his finest. <laughs> or Lycanroc GX, you could say, in this case. Uh, yeah, it was kind of enjoyable. I mean, if this is done to you, you would be pretty pissed, you know, pooling all day and knocking out your guys that aren't supposed to get knocked out. But, you know, when you're the one doing it, it feels kind of good. So, yeah, he promotes Tapu Lele GX, and I guess if he attaches a DC, he can't finish me off. He's going to do that in this case. But, I mean... It's just so easy. I, I think I can... Like, I don't even need to target down any of the GX dudes. Uh, we have another Lycanroc GX there. And I should have... Uh, we got the Rescue Stretcher, actually, too. So, yeah. Uh, we should be able to just wrap this game up just with Bloodthirsty Eyes. So I'm going to get a Stretcher here. Get the Lycanroc GX. Use the head. And we got the other one in hand, too. So, yeah, you just use this one. He doesn't know I have the other one. Uh, and just in two attacks, we're going to win. Get rid of these little wishy-washy, the small fishes. And, you know, it, it's easy. You know, without those fishes, the small wishy-washy, uh, the wishy-washy GX isn't really anything. It's just a big Pokemon with a lot of HP. That can't do shit. You need, like... I mean, even if it has a lot of energies on it, the only, the only worth it worthwhile attack you can use with it is a GX attack where you can maybe get a one-hit knockout doing 220 and then move the energies around might not be a bad deck tech in a Blastoise deck let's say and expand it if you use that with Rain Dance but as with this wishy-washy strategy you know it's it's pretty unreliable using these big attacks so he's gonna do Aqua Patch try and power it up do what he can but you know, what the hell are you going to do without any wishy-washies down? And I'm surprised he actually didn't use any stretchers for them or what have you. So just going to do a lot of damage with Tapu Lele. But it's basically GG. 
I'm going to be able to use another Bloodthirsty Eyes, target the small dude, and completely destroy this deck. So, good game for Lycanroc GX. You can really see how it can, you know, fuck up this sort of India decks, you could say. Tier 2 decks, Tier 3 decks, uh, really nicely. Uh, without all of the Lycanroc GXs, a normal fighting deck wouldn't be able to do that. They would just have to fight through the big uh, fish GX. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. Say bro 24 what up?